What's up, y'all? You're watching All About Antonio, and today I'm going to talk about the verses that we just seen between Ashanti and Keisha Cole. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment below your thoughts about the verses, also ring the bell so you can know when I make a new video. So, after my intro, let's get into this verses. Here we go. So before we get into tonight's review of the verses, I'm gonna give you guys the backstory. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know the backstory, but if you don't, here it is. Um, they were supposed to do the verses December 12th, Ashanti and Keisha Cole, but of course Ashanti contracted COVID. Well, not of course, but something went wrong where Ashanti contracted COVID, so they canceled it because I think they were supposed to be in the same building, and um, they didn't want to have anybody get that virus, so they just postponed it. They came back with the date January. 7th, that's the next time they were supposed to do it. Something happened, I don't know what happened, and at that moment, I was over it, because I said, we're going to gonna give Ashanti a pass with the virus. It's a big deal, we understand. We don't want nobody to get sick. It's already spreaded. We don't need you to go spread it, so I understand why they postponed it for December 12th, but what was the reason, and if you know in the comments, please let me know, what was the reason of you guys postponing it again on January 7th, and like I said, I was over them one I saw that because I was like, okay, I gave y'all a pass the first time. What the heck is the problem now? But I said, if I watch it, I watch it. If I don't, I don't because I don't even care anymore. I happened to be on Facebook and I seen some people talking about it. And I was like, oh, well, let me tune in. So I'm thinking I'm already late because when I got there, I think it was like 10, 15, 10, 6, uh, yeah, 10, 15. So I'm like, I'll probably miss half of it already. So I'm just going to see what I see. And I get on and I see Ashanti by her sister. So I'm like, okay, they on break. But Ashanti She's just live like Ashanti on the um the live while she's actually on the verses she's on the live verses on Instagram which was cracking me up and I'm like okay where's Keisha Cole because now it looks like y'all haven't started and I saw that they haven't started because I guess they was like yeah we wait on Keisha she gonna be here she gonna be here and I said poor Ashanti I know Ashanti pissed she was like it's always something we had to postpone it twice now you not here on time oh my god like what the heck but we said, we all said, side note, we all said we wasn't going to watch it. We lied because they had 1 million viewers on it. So either we was bored or we was just talking junk because everybody seemed like they tuned in for this versus. So long story short, Keisha Cole walks in. Keisha Cole's like, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, she walked in like she had an attitude or whatever. And she was like, I'll tell you guys at a later time. Well, I'm like, I said, no, you need to tell us now because what the heck? And I'm like, okay, maybe she gonna do something special. Like, if she late, she better bring out that old hair with the red and the blonde. Y'all remember when Keisha Cole had the red hair at the top and the blonde at the bottom? I said, she better bring that hair out. That's the reason why she better be late. But, of course, she didn't have it. So, I don't know why my girl was late. Um, so she started off with when she get there, they get right into it. Keisha Cole starts off with I changed my mind. Um, then Ashanti did happy. After that, Keisha Cole did I should have cheated, and Ashanti did the way that I love you. The way that I love you is my jam. I love breakup songs for some strange reason. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I really love breakup songs. I still blast that song like it's new to today, to this day. I love the way that I love you. So that's my song. Um, then Keisha Cole did Enough and No Love. Don't know that song. Ashanti did Don't Leave Me Alone. Don't know that song either, but y'all go forth. Um, Keisha Cole did Should Have Been. Keisha Cole did Should Have Let You Go. Ashanti did Rock With You. I love both songs. Both songs are so freaking good. Um, those were some good choices. Um, Keisha Cole came back with I Remember. Ashanti came back with Southside. Don't like Southside. I hated that song when it came out, and I still hate it to today. I hate that song. Um, then Keisha Cole came with Last Night, and Ashanti played Ain't That Funny. And I was like, this is not your song. This is Jennifer Lopez song. I know you wrote it, but why are you playing this? And she made sure she let everybody know that I gave Jennifer Lopez that number one song, because that was number one on the Billboard Hot 100. She was like, I wrote it. So I know she sung on the chorus, or I, I think she sung on the chorus. I'm not sure. Um, but I was like, 
girl, why you picked this song? You could have picked one of your songs, but she played Ain't It Funny. And it was funny because, I don't know, you're trying to be shady and say like, yeah, I wrote it and I sung on it and they kept my vocals. Or I just want to play it to let y'all guys know that I gave her that number one. But she played Ain't That Funny, which is a classic. That's one of my favorite songs by Jennifer Lopez. Um, then Keisha Cole came back with Play Your Cards Right. And um, Ashanti did Pox Love. And I guess at this moment, they both did songs with Tupac at the time. So they were talking about their memories of Tupac or how it felt to have a, him on their records. I didn't sign no, I didn't know that Keisha Cole was actually supposed to be signed to Tupac. Um, I didn't know that. So that was a good thing to hear. And... I think Keisha Cole won that round because I love Play Your Cards, right? Um, never heard a Shanti song with um, Tupac until now. Keisha Cole came back with Love and then Ashanti did Rain On Me. When Keisha Cole was doing Love, she brought out a guest. And out of all the people, she picked OT Genesis. Now, if you know the backstory about this, Asha uh, Keisha Cole was pissed because... She, uh, OT Genesis did the song and he was basically he messed up the song like he messed up a classic and she was she was like I she went on interview saying I hate when people mess up my song and don't sing it right or I just hate when people don't do my song and he didn't have permission to do it so they kind of went back and forth on social media he was being funny but I think she was dead serious and what was funny was Ashanti was like oh go ahead you brought OT Genesis out that's cool or whatever I see it's all love Keisha Cole was like no and then she was like I guess yeah it's all love but I caught that shit she was like you know so she basically said I still don't rock with this boy but I'm just gonna give him a clout since he made the song pop again but I caught that because she was like no <laughs> when he was like it's all love Kishiko goes like no um then Keisha Cole did Trust and Believe and Ashanti did Down For You Don't Know Down For You by Ashanti but Trust and Believe Me is a good song I love that song by Keisha Cole side note does anybody other than me think that that song reminds them of Love and War by Tamar Braxton I'm pretty sure that song came out after yeah it came out after Tamar's definitely and it sounds just like Love and War to me like when it first started off it get, has that big bass um that big B and then Love and War has the same thing kind of it's kind of similar so they sound just alike to me um after this Keisha Cole did You Change Ashanti did Runaway I don't know none of those songs so whatever and Keisha called after um this song she wanted to take a break and Shanti said you thought wrong because Keisha Cole said okay I'm gonna do this song and then we're gonna take a break or whatever so I know how you gonna be late and then want to take a break like I know they take a break after 10 songs but girl you was like you should have kept it moving so but she didn't want to do that so they Keisha Cole did have a scent and Shanti did baby I like them both um and she was like wait Keisha, uh, Keisha Cole was like wait I thought we were taking a break I'm taking a break and Shanti was like no that's First of all, I don't even think Ashanti was paying attention because sometimes when Ashanti would be, um, when Keisha Cole would be singing her songs, the songs that she wrote or singing that she is playing, I'm sorry, Keisha, Ashanti, first of all, y'all, it's late. So y'all got to bear with me if I'm stuttering or whatever. Y'all, it's late here. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm doing this video. But anyway, Keisha Cole will be playing her songs. Ashanti, this is Ashanti, huh? I was weak because at one point while Keisha Cole was playing one of her songs, Ashanti had her wig person or her um, hairstylist come and brush her hair and she was still on the phone. I was like, Ashanti is not here for you. I don't know what that's about, but it was just funny because girl, you're supposed to be engaging with her. Uh, literally, Keisha Cole was singing most of your songs. Ashanti was like, every time Keisha Cole was doing her segment, it was hilarious to me. Um, I don't know if she was being shady or was she trying to check and see what's going on, but that was just funny to me. It was like, girl, why, not, why are you not engaged in Keisha Cole's set? Um, but after that, Keisha Cole was like, I thought we was taking a break. Ashanti said, you thought wrong because she started with only you. And I guess Keisha Cole was like, well, okay, I guess we gonna continue. And she did brand new. Don't know that song, but Hey, and then Keisha Cole was like, okay, well, right here, let's take a break. So they took a little 10 minute break or whatever, and they came back. And Keisha was like, okay, I'm gonna start it off right here. And the was like, no, you started it off the first time. It's my turn. And Keisha was like, wait, I thought I started off. She was like, no, hit this track. And she played What's Love. And I think Keisha Cole got irritated with that because Keisha Cole was like, I mean, but you already started or whatever. And the was like, no, I'm gonna start now. Hit that. Oops, sorry, y'all. She was like, hit that track. And I think either Keisha Cole 
quote said the N word or said B because she said something smart. She was like, all right, girl, do you B? I think she said the B word, but I don't know if anybody else caught that, but I know she was pissed about that. So after that, um, Ashanti, after she did What's Love, Keisha Cole comes back with Trust featuring Monica. Great song. Love that song. Um, then she came, Ashanti came back with this, and I was confused because I thought this the song that I'm about to say was to me. I know to me it did it in the 90s first, and then Fabulous redid it. And Ashanti played the Fabulous first, and so I don't know if she wrote on that song or what, but I was just so confused because I was like, girl, this is not your song. So y'all, if you know in the comments, if you know about and let me know in the comments because I was confused. I was like, girl, why would you play that? But she played it and then uh, Keisha Cole played I've Changed featuring J J Jaheem. Yep, so that was a good song. Um, and then Ashanti came back with Girl in the Movies and Asha Keisha Cole did one of my favorite songs on this part. It was Give It Up To Me. I don't know if y'all remember it, but that was my jam. Like I remember back in the day, especially that boom, cha boom, cha boom, boom. That's my part. And I remind you, um, Keisha Cole was irritated because she wanted to dance, but she couldn't dance because how they had it set up, the mic was super close to them. So I think if they did one more move, that um, mic would have messed up. So she couldn't dance, but she did a little wine. I said, okay, girl, you better wine, Keisha. Um, I love Give It Up To Me. That's my song. And then um, Keisha Cole, no, I'm sorry. Ashanti came back with Mesmerize. Keisha Cole did Let It Go, not Keisha. If you was to bring a guest, let me tell you who you should have brought. And you you tried it because you played with our emotions. She did let it go. So she was doing the Missy Elliott part. And then she's like, hold on, stop, stop, stop. And I thought, I was telling my friend, I said, if little Kim come out, I'm about to scream. And she was like, y'all, stop, stop. Who next? Who next? She started playing the little Kim part. I said, now, why you play us like that? You had me so excited. Like, I thought little Kim was going to come out, but she didn't. I said, out of all the people, if you wanted to bring a guest, you should have had little Kim come. Little Kim would have killed that. And little Kim would have made this versus 10 times better. But she didn't have little Kim come out. And side note, I think little Kim, I heard in little Kim and Foxy Brown may be doing the verses. Y'all, if they do a verses, do you know how epic that's going to be? I think that might be even bigger than Brandy versus Monica because Brand, um, Little Kim and Foxy Brown hate each other. So if they are able to work out their differences and do a verses, that's going to be the verses out of all verses. Like that's going to be legendary. So I really hope that's true, uh, not just a rumor. Um, after that, uh, Shanti did Foolish and Keisha Cole did Never featuring Eve. Um, I, it's a remake of Luther Vandross song, Never Too Much. I like, uh, I don't like, actually, I'm like, I don't like neither one, but whatever. Those are the songs they pick. I know Foolish was Shanti's biggest hit, I think, so whatever. Um, Ashanti came back with The Way I Love You Again. She played that song twice. She played again. Yeah, she played that song twice. And then Keisha Cole came back with You Complete Me, um, which was cool. I like both of those songs. I love The Way That I Love You, but I didn't realize she played it twice until now. Um, then Ashanti came back with Don't Let Me, Don't Know That Song. And then Keisha Cole did You, Don't Know That Song either. Last songs they did was Always On Time, um, Ja Rule featuring Ashanti. Ashanti I think Ashanti wrote that song and um, Keisha Cole closed out hers with I Don't Wanna Be. Don't know that song. Um, I think that's actually her new song. Yeah, that's her new song. But um, in Ashanti's new song she played was 235. Um, so that's how they closed it out. Now, my review of the whole verses, um, Keisha Cole, they both look pretty. I like their makeup. Their makeup was pretty to me um, or gorgeous. Um, I really didn't care for neither one outfit. Either one outfit, I thought it was basic. Um, but listen, whoever did Keisha Cole's um, outfit, y'all made sure those breasts was taped, honey, because I thought we was going to have a wardrobe malfunction, especially when she was walking in her chair and when she got up to wine I said oh baby we about to have another Janet Jackson moment those one of those boobs is about to come out I promise y'all thought we was gonna see a nipple at one point but baby those breasts whoever did it they made sure they was taped and she didn't really have to even put it up too much she made sure it was together um but I was I'm sure that would have broke the internet if we would have saw um Keisha Cole nipple I'm like dang girl you took another L 
she already took an L by being late and this versus was kind of all over the place with them keep having to keep postponing it but she kept it together um what else i felt like this is the thing i felt like instead of ashanti playing rock with you three times uh Ciroc and doritos i think sponsored this versus so doritos had a thing where it was doritos pick and for ashanti's her pick for doritos was rock with you she paid played it three times why you have to play it three times, Ashanti? Keisha Cole's was Doritos pick was pick play your cards right. She played it twice. Now, this is the thing: if you gotta play your song three times, you ain't got enough hits, honey. Cause why are you playing Rock with You three times? Even though that's a good song, but I was like, girl, you can't pick nothing else. You could have did still on it. You ain't do that, or you could have done um you could have did a song on her first album dreams are real she could have did that or she could have did good good those are my those are some good songs by shanti she could have did those three um keisha cole instead of playing play your cards right and especially at the end i don't want to be that song is garbage from what i heard don't like it um she could have did I just wanted to be over. That was my jam. Or she could have did um, Falling Out. That was another good song. I'm pretty sure she got another song. I can't think of it right now that she could have did. Um, I can't think of it. But Oh, Take Me Away. Um, I Love My Baby. She could have did that instead of Play Your Cards Right twice. Like I was like, girl. Um, I thought this verse could have been an hour because like I said, they was kind of repeating some songs. So they definitely could have been an hour. And to when it got to round two, they started to speed it up a little bit. And I don't know why. Um, well, I know why they thought that Instagram would shut them off, but they must have been hiding under the rock because Instagram stopped that a long time ago. So I don't know why they was rushing uh, with round two. They could have kept on going. I really wish they would have did those songs that I just sang. Ashanti could have did Good Good, Still On It, and Dreams. Keisha Cole could have did I Just Wanted to Be Over. That was my jam. Y'all, I really love that song. Or Take Me Away or Falling Out. She could have did those three songs. Tell me some more songs y'all think they should have picked. Um, like I said, their new singles are two Ashanti's is 235. Um, that's the name of it. Keisha Cole is I Don't Want to Be in Love with You. Um, go check them out. Go support. I don't really care for them, but go check them out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else happened in this verses. Um, I think it was a little mess, not messy, far as them with each other. Um, it was a little, I, I think Keisha Cole was getting irritated with Ashanti, but. Um, I thought that overall it was ghetto. <laughs> That's what I would say. I, I thought it was very unorganized and ghetto. Um, there's no way that, and here's the thing. There's no way that y'all postponed it the first time if y'all wasn't going to be in the same area. If y'all was going to be in the same, if y'all, what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry y'all, it's late, but <laughs> Um, the first time y'all canceled because she had COVID just, and y'all did it today just to be in separate areas. Y'all could have did it the first time then. Y'all could have honestly did it the first time or the second time. Like, I don't know why y'all had to postpone it. Like, I thought y'all was going to be together. That was the whole point of this versus, but... I guess not. Like, that kind of was stupid to me. Like, if you're not going to be here, y'all could have just did it the first time. Um, other than that, I thought it was a little unorganized. You guys tell me how you feel about the verses. Um, it was cool for what it was. It brought back a little, some of my childhood memories. Um, if I have to pick a winner, I would say Keisha Cole won. She had more songs that stood out to me and more songs that I love. And Keisha Cole had good features with people. She had P. Diddy with Last Night. Um, oh my God. Do y'all remember her remix to Loyal by Chris Brown. That was a good song. She could have did that one too. Um, Loyal. Well, she had, Keisha Cole had some good hits. Um, so yeah, that's my take on the verses. Um, so you guys comment below and tell me what you guys think. Until next video, I want you guys to be active, be authentic, be amazing. Um, until then, I'm out. Peace. I'm about to go to sleep because I'm tired. Y'all have a good night. And one more thing about this verse is, let me take off my glasses so you, so um, Keisha, you can look at me when I tell you this. Like, I want you to look at me dead in my eyes so you can hear what I got to say. Like, you can know that I mean it. Keisha 
do not sing live again. You sounded a mess. You wasn't hitting none of your notes. Your runs was awful. You sounded a mess, Keisha. Like every time you would open up your mouth, I would be like, I'm sorry. Like you sounded awful. Ashanti, you didn't do that bad, but how you be holding yourself is you think you be singing and you don't be sounding that good. But you didn't do as bad as Keisha tonight. Like Keisha suck garbage. And I was just like, I don't understand how anybody pays to see you live. You sounded a mess, Keisha. Please don't sing live again. Like, I don't understand how anybody would go to a concert just to hear you. Like, Keisha, I don't, and if anybody say you give vocals, stay lying, because you was not giving no good vocals. But, um, yeah, Keisha, please don't do that again. You was hoeing yourself. So, I was just like, hi, huh, Keisha, what? Uh, I was like, what, Keisha? You sounded a mess. I couldn't believe that she was sounding that bad.